Hi Scorpio, welcome to your singles reading for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, um, social media links. There's a whole bunch of stuff down there, so please do go check that out. It'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is greatly, greatly appreciated. So all your support that everybody gives to the channel is much appreciated and helping with the channel's growth and getting the messages out to the people that need to hear that. So thank you so much for being a part of that. And I love doing this for you guys. So thank you, thank you. Okay, Scorpio Singles, who's coming towards you or could be coming towards you? This is for November, but it can be from whenever you see this till whenever. So um, let's see what we get here. So I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall. Happy November. Scorpio. Let's see what we get for Scorpio singles. Hopefully this will resonate for you. I could even pick up on a past encounter or situation that you've had in the past. So please keep that in mind. All right, Scorpios. Let's see what we have for you. Let's get a couple of signs of who may be coming towards Scorpio. All right. Well, there we go. We got two right away. Didn't take long. We have Leo in Gemini. So you are a water sign, so you could have a possible fire sign Leo or a possible air sign Gemini. Okay. Or you could even meet somebody with both of these signs in their chart. So a couple signs there. All right. So let's see. All right. So, okay. First thing I want to do here is... Get the energy of this person coming in towards you. What is their energy like? Who are they? What are they like? What is this person like for Scorpio? What is this person like for Scorpio? Come incoming person. What is their energy like? Who are they? Can we get one card for Scorpio's person, incoming person? It's too many. I want one. What is their energy like? Who are they? That's two. We take that one. All right. So we have. Okay. So this says obstacles and challenges here. So this could be somebody who's been through a lot in their life, or they could be going through something now, or they could just have gotten out of something that was very challenging for them. Um, so I feel like this is going to be somebody. This is the five of wands energy. So. I mean, this could be somebody that has a lot of conflict around them. I mean, it doesn't sound like a good energy, but it just could be that um, they've just been through a lot. And, you know, the and this is fire energy. Uh, so this is somebody who does have passion, drive, and ambition. And even though there's been obstacle and challenges, they may still have that fire, drive, and ambition to keep persevering and going on in life, you know? You see like this broken bridge here, but they can easily jump to the other side. So I feel like this could be somebody here who um, is able to conquer and challenge and get over obstacles that stand in their way. Um, so please keep that in mind. If you feel like they're too troubled or they're just going through too much or maybe they're a little on guard or defensive. I, I don't know something about the energy and you're like, gee, I don't know. I would say give them a chance anyway and uh, see what happens. This could be, I just got this weird message because you see this person walking bare feet. This could be somebody that would be willing to walk over hot coals for you. I just got that message out of nowhere. So <laughs> don't let whatever they've been through or what their outer appearance looks like sway you from giving this person a chance because we've all been through struggles and battles. So I think this just makes this person a stronger uh, person. All right. So they, they could be somebody that does, uh, that's just weird too. I'm getting this message too, that does indeed do like magic or I don't know if they do it for a living, but it could be somebody that does um, magic tricks or they do um, uh, not, a, not a circus, but like, um, 
like a contortionist or something like out of the ordinary. I mean, they could do, they could do something like that for a living. And, um, you know, you may think that it's a little awkward too, that someone does that for a living, or it could be something they do that this passion of theirs on the side. Um, I'm not really getting much on like what they could do for like their career, but I'm getting more of their personality here. And like I, like everything I just described and maybe they do indeed do, um, some sort of different kind of hobby or side job of like a contortionist or they eat fire or they do something, something out of the ordinary. All right. So, okay, that's different. And you see the fire there. So, I mean, they could, <laughs> they could, I don't know, play with fire. They could do magic with fire or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe they do walk over hot coals. I don't know. All right. So let's see like when, let's get a time frame. What time of year? That one. Let's see what we have. So now we have um, fire energy here again. So that is the springtime. So, uh, and I know that seems like it's a ways away, but um, spring. So I got springtime there for that. So you can meet them in the springtime. All right. So maybe you go to like an outdoor event or something and there they are playing with their fire or doing whatever they do or one of the maybe they're one of those live statues i don't know something like out of the ordinary <laughs> as you see this person that's so weird just standing there like a statue wow okay all right so let's get like where though like where you could meet this person like where outside so you got the grass here we got so yeah, so definitely out and you see like another like statue. So I'm getting outside somewhere in the park, an uh, outside event, or maybe you go to some kind of outside like show or theater or something like that. So something outside. Um, I'm getting more like a park or an outdoor event or like a carnival or like a festival or um, like an art show or some sort of outside like venue show or something like that. All right, so, and they could even, maybe they're a knife thrower, maybe, I don't know. They, I, I think it's somebody that does something on the side of what their career is that's very, very out of the ordinary or different. So, all right, so maybe they do something with fire or they do something with knives or maybe they do walk on coals, something, Something different. Okay, so let's see how you meet this person. So the waiting game. So, and it's so funny because I just had this come out in the same spot for Taurus. But we don't have Taurus here. But um, so we have the waiting game here. So it could be that you're waiting... Um, I don't know, in line to buy tickets to the show or you're in line, like in line somewhere at this festival or something like that. Or maybe you're standing there watching the show or watching them or something or waiting for them to come out like on the stage or something like that. Or maybe some, some maybe somehow you wander like backstage by accident or behind like where they perform and you're like, oh my God, sorry. And that's how you run into this person. <laughs> Something like that. Because you see, like, this man, like, behind the scenes. So it could be that you accidentally end up behind the scenes. And um, that's how you meet them. This is very different. I never got any kind of messages. But, oh, my gosh. Look the bottom. Spiritual union here. So definitely here. Uh, could be a soulmate connection here. Wow. Okay. So if you connect with this person... If you decide to see them, date them, or whatever, what kind of connection will this be? What kind of connection will this be? What kind of connection will this be? 
and I don't know if you're familiar with like uh, water fire where they light fire on like the river and you always have like live performing artists. They may be some kind of like performing artists is what I'm trying to say. So like when you go to like say water fires or you go to like an outdoor festival or something and there's always like live performers around like in the park or at the venue or whatever. I feel like this person does something like that. And you somehow end up like in their space or behind the scenes of where they're performing. Like you wander back there, like not knowing. And then that's how you run into this person. All right. So, and I think it's like an instant connection. So obviously if you're attending something like that, then you're probably um, open to that sort of thing. Or, you know, maybe you're just going to check it out, see what it's all about. I don't know. But um, if you have anything like that that comes up in your area in the springtime, I would say go. <laughs> you may need a soulmate. All right. So, or maybe uh, maybe they're not even the performing, performing artist. Maybe you're watching them and uh, you meet somebody that's also watching them. So it may not even be like that, this person performing, but somebody that you meet while you're watching this performer also. So it could go either way. So let's get your advice in this connection. If you pursue or you date or whatever this person, what's your thoughts? It's important only to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. So you may fear the connection if you like, if it is the performer that you get to have a connection with, that you may have doubts and fears because they're maybe totally different than anyone you've ever dated. Maybe they're unlike anyone you've ever dated. Maybe it's just very, very different for you. And this is just telling you to keep your, you know, thoughts and your options to open and be open to it. Or maybe even the person that you run into that is also watching, maybe there's have this similar uh, persona as the performers and maybe you're like, hmm, I don't know. But you kind of like them. So I was just say just to watch that and just like keep keep every, keep everything open. Keep your thoughts, your ideas open. Um, all right. So. So that is like what kind of connection will it be? So. So yeah, I feel like there may be fear because of maybe of differences, but you have to just think about the connection and try to get over those uh, differences. So let's get uh, your advice. That almost seems like advice right there, but um, I don't know, let's get some advice for you now with this connection. Scorpio. Let's see, advice for Scorpio with this connection. Face your adversity. So yeah, I just think that, like I said, keep an open mind uh, and face face adversity. It may lead you to a soulmate. <laughs> so that's what I'm getting with that. And don't be afraid. Don't fear them. You may fear them because they're so different or it may never work or whatever. Um face this adversity and you see the heart they are right in the middle so again and we have the two of cups underneath that deck which is soulmate so this could be a soulmate but you may um talk yourself out of it with what your thoughts here because they're just so different and you think it just won't won't work so let's clarify now scorpio with some tarot all right, Scorpio. Okay. The Six of Pentacles. So again here, you know, this is fairness, balance, equality. So yeah, I, I feel like you'll balance each other out, even though you, you may be very different. There may be just something about the two of you together that will just balance each other out. Um, nine of wands energy here so and again i had had here this person may have been through a lot this is the wounded warrior uh has been through a lot of struggles fights uh adversities but they keep struggling and fighting on so and i did feel that energy here with this energy so i feel like this person has been through a lot but they don't give up they're always looking for their justice their equality 
And I also feel that this could be a very balanced um, connection also. All right, what else? What else? The King of Cups. So, yep. So I do feel like, yeah, I feel like this uh, can be male or female. doesn't matter, but that's your energy. Water. So, yeah, I definitely think there's going to be love here. Definitely will be love. Somebody will have emotions, whether it's you or them. Yep, so someone's going to want to, you know, move forward. A lot of drive, the ambition, fire, passionate energy here. Someone's going to want to move this forward quickly because they're going to feel the love, the attraction, the connection. They're going to fight for it. They're going to see how much balance this could be. And yeah, very strong connection here. And here's the Leo energy with uh, strength. So yeah, someone's going to feel this is a very, it could be them. I feel like you're going to be hesitant. And I think they're going to feel a strong connection right away. And they're going to want to move forward quickly because here's the strength energy very strong connection being that and I do feel this is their energy too of being that wounded warrior who's been through a lot but they always have inner strength and courage to get through any obstacles here all right so what else okay <laughs> so we got the two of wands so yeah they're going to want to make decisions and plans moving forward for your future for their future and again, I'm getting like that living statue energy. Um, and also with the pole, you know, the uh, wand there, uh, they could do something with, um, well, I don't think they'd be a pole dancer, but something involving like poles or wands or a stage, you know, or, or something there, something really different. Um, yeah, but this is all about Making plans, decisions, and moving forward for the future. Again, with that drive ambition. Now, with the Knight of Wands, sometimes can be a player. But with the King of Cups next to it and the strength, I feel like this is going to be a very strong connection, attraction, whatever. And they're going to want to move forward. Maybe. Maybe kind of quickly. I think they're going to develop feelings quickly. And they're going to want to move it forward very quickly because you've got the making plans here, the strength there for that, you know, energy moving forward. This emotions there with the King of Cups. The Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel like they do something with swords. I don't know. Knives and swords. I don't know. Uh, maybe they juggle knives. Maybe. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> that energy. Something with swords. Some sort of live performer. But, you know, this is an energy of sneaking away from something or being sneaky or decisive, you know, deceitful or, or lying or something. But I'm not really getting that energy with this person. I'm getting because you've got the knife here, the sword, the swords there. I just feel like they do something uh, very unique, like a live performer. And you see, like, uh, the tents in the background there, almost like, you know, like a carnival atmosphere. So... Okay, so what else for Scorpio? Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're going to be worried about this. I think you're going to stress about this, that this isn't going to work. It's just because you have face your adversities. What's your thoughts? I think you're just going to like try to talk yourself out of this because there's so much adversity here. But I'm getting a very strong connection between this energy here and the Six of Pentacles. So... And seeing that two of cups at the bottom of the other deck. So, page of one. So, there's a communication, very fiery, passionate communication offer. So, I think they're going to be very fiery and passionate also, but there is emotions here with the king of cups. So, yeah, seven of cups energy at the bottom so you're going to be a little confused by this and not sure what to do and you may keep them waiting for a while as you try to decide do i want to invest in this i'm not sure and you may you got two sevens here sevens are about divinely guided energy spiritual energy so this could be a very divinely guided spiritual connection 
but you're going to be unsure and you might keep them waiting and uh, you're going to be a little confused. But if you can get over that and face that adversity here, I do see because we did have, I'm going to take that out. We did have at the bottom of the stack to show itself spiritual union, soulmate union here with the two of cups. So I do see that here. Okay, Scorpio, um, if you did like this, you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, please hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post, post all new readings and you won't miss out. Miss out. Um, you'll get a singles reading like this. You'll get a love connection reading for maybe somebody you have a connection with. You'll get a, a tarot forecast, which is like a general reading for the month and you'll also get messages from your spirit guide spirit messages what you need to know at this time so if you like that and you're interested please do hit the bell you won't miss out and if you do thank you thank you so best of luck to you here sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light